Lions jerk. <laughs> Much more efficiently than vaginas. <laughs>
Tanzanite. Tanzanite knows <laughs> well, the first minute. first day. He's, he's the craze, really. Right. You know, the thing, Very fashionable. You know, the thing is, is that Tanzanite really people really didn't think that it was a good prosthetic nose material, but but in fact, it really is of all the stones. I mean, some people will argue soapstone over Tanzanite. No. People are fucking idiots, right? <laughs> so, so my favorite of his noses was the the amber one with a B right in the middle. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and, 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 and that was. You know, for, very, he, he, for his anniversary, uh, for his uh, induction into the Hellfire Club. <laughs> Just, <laughs> uh, why wouldn't you? Uh, and so, but the thing is, there are very few of them, and they don't go into as the market right also, now. Also, they drank a lot, so who lose them? Right, exactly. So here's the thing: it's like Paul Allen owns three of them. Oh, you know, and it's like it's like why you know the. The accumulation of noses. The one person. He's so smug. Look at me, I'm Paul Allen. I got noses. Right. So, so frankly, you know, so that only leaves two that are on the market. One's for the private investor in Slovenia, um, and Slovakia. Um, I would say it's just not the former for Gary. Like to call it Slovenian. Fine, fine, fine. But the are there any Slovenians here? Because I'm sure you would be very mad right now. I know. <laughs> it, it happens. The point is. If you can get a Tycho Brahe nose, uh, then then you can go home. You know, you're done. And in in, in the prosthetic nose collection community, uh, it really is just simply it's the Action Comics number one of noses. Right. Yeah. That's exactly it. And uh, so you know, I've been saving my pennies. That's all I'm going to say on that one. Oh, I I like that he was uh, a drunk and had a small person live under his table. <laughs> I think for those of us who drink a lot, let's be honest, at some point or another you thought it'd be kind of cool to have somebody who lives under your table. <laughs> and he's living the dream and he's just so angry. Uh, I, I just feel like he's a, he's a great light to, to leave all of us. Well, and I mean, yeah, it kind of goes without saying, but an exceptionally skillful kisser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say oscillator because he, he did actually. Yeah, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, if you are a, if you're a day to day kisser, you're a kisser. Right. If you are a professional kisser, you're an oscillator. Yeah. Right. You know, it's just that it's that thing. It's the it's the whole you know the the exercises that you have to do. There's a there's a lot of training that goes in, it's and you can't just go the easy route. You can't just kiss the people you want. Right. It's yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah it's, exactly. It, it is about what kissing represents, uh, what kissing what can mean, the the, the semiotics of kissing yeah. is really well, what it is. It, you know, every you know, kissing is really just a shadow on the wall. Right. You the, know? the platonic ideal is right. the oscillation. Yeah. <laughs> the missing nose is the cave in which the Well that's yeah. that's why he knew he had to improve. Right? Because right. you remember how he lost the nose. Yeah. <laughs> Way up our asses. Yeah, that's why <laughs> that's why really good kisses are called prize. Right. <laughs> the, the, for me, the thing I admire about him most, as a fellow dungeon owner, is that he had, you know, he was an early adopter of a private dungeon. And, uh, and so many of us, like, uh, you know, later day dungeon uh, keep, uh, keep keep a picture, a frame picture of him in our, in our dungeons, yes. just as an inspiration right. for all the kinds of just normal sex torture that... <laughs> that really, you know, that drives you to build your own dungeon. It's not yeah, a cheap thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 I would just like to say tragic oscillation is the name of my kiss cover band. <laughs> <laughs> address the rumors that his long silence on the subject is because he is modifying his 43 folders method to reflect the Mayan calendar and to accommodate human sacrifice. Well, I did a lot of research in the Mayan calendar in the last back to and, um, you know, uh, and quite frankly, uh, I'm just, 
I'm really impressed with, with the minds and the way they put it together. It's, you know, it's based on uh, viewing Venus in the sky, going around and around and around and around. Uh, and frankly, uh, if he is doing this, and I don't know, I don't know this Merlin Man character at all, um, and, and I don't know what he wants or how he does things, but if he is actually moving to a vacuum system, then I applaud it, because it is, mathematically speaking, the most rigorous astronomical calendar you can have. It is tight. I mean, it's, you can ask any mathematician, you can ask any astronomer, they will tell you that's some next level shit. So if, honestly, if that's the direction he's going, then that's the direction I want to be in. And, and frankly, I'm going to be an angel investor in the next thing he does with Marmite. The, uh, the other thing is, you know, human sacrifice is kind of, it's, it's an obsolete term. Uh, it's, it's really, it's, we're talking about recycling here. <laughs> um, because, I mean, people need organs. I mean, let, I, mean I need organs. <laughs>